Okay, so what I have here is my Xbox 360 uh, taken apart, and uh, you can see all the pieces over here. This is a pretty simple process, and I'm documenting it because this is my attempt to fix my three ring of death. Um, it just overheated. I've had this thing since 2007. It's one of the original Xbox 360s. And it's um, now 2011, so it's about time for it to uh, go three ring of death on me. At least it's not four, because three ring is uh, fixable. Uh, it's just a matter of it's overheating all that, uh, <clears throat> the uh, thermal paste on the underneath the coolers has uh, kind of dissipated in a way, and uh, it's just overheating. So I'm going to take it apart and fix it and put it back together. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. I have flashed a number of Xboxes and their drives and um, that was a chore in itself, so this should be pretty easy. I'll uh, document along the way. Okay, as you can see, I have taken the Xbox apart and uh, there's pieces all over. I've gotten it officially apart. I've got the motherboard out, a lot of screws to remove, and as you can see, once I removed the, turn the light back on, it's going to be bright, sorry. But once I removed the uh, coolers, the heat sinks, um, you can see that there's gunk all over it and it's, it's kind of gotten spread around. So that's where the problem is, is it gets way too hot and I can actually see some brown where it was kind of singeing. <laughs> Um, definitely isn't keeping it cool. Uh, this stuff is way worn off and it's about time. So, um, these were the original clamps that held, held uh, the heat sinks, this one and this one, on the back. And we're going to be replacing it with uh, regular screws and rubber washers instead of using these. And the rubber washers will help it to um, let it flex when it gets hot, kind of let it flex itself and and uh, given uh, as it needs to instead of kind of twisting the motherboard or contorting that at all from the heat. So this should help considerably. And um, I'm, I'm going to clean these off. Both of these have residue left on them. And uh, get rid of all that crap. Um, use an alcohol pad to, to clean that crap up. And then I've got... Uh, got this from Best Buy because Radio Shack was all out, but it is the thermal compound um, that you'll spread on once you clean these up. You spread it back on here and um, we'll add them back on. You have to take these screws out of the thermal, or the, sorry, the heat sinks. Take all four out on both of them and the new screws are replacing with the rubber washers will go in uh, in these. Um, I'll insert them into the motherboard once I'm ready, once I've cleaned everything up. Um, one thing you will need, um, I have, I had a hexadecimal tool as part of the toolkit I had, but um, you need, uh, I had a, the highest I had was a T10 and you need a T8 in order to get a lot of these screws off the um, the power button for one, um, this is the power button that goes on the front of the box, um, and then screws on the back side of the housing itself, you need a T8. So I went and bought um, a multi-tool that's like a T8 to T, let's see, it's a T4 all the way to T15, so now I have an extra, but um, <laughs> I had no choice in that aspect. So. Anyway, um, I will show you more as okay, I Okay, so I've got it all cleaned up now. I've got both heat sinks, as you can see, cleaned up. Um, that was from trying to scratch with my little X-Acto knife, which didn't hurt it, it just made some abrasions on it. Uh, and that one's really clean. I found out that um, what really worked good was using WD-40. And that actually cleaned these chips up really nice. You can see they're all nice and shiny. So I used, sprayed a little bit of WD-40 on a paper towel and and uh, 
uh, used, I first picked as much as I could off with like a tissue, just getting the goop off, and then just cleaning the chips up. I used WD-40 on a paper towel and just kind of you know, lightly used a little bit, as little as possible, and it, you don't need much at all, and it will um, take it off and clean them up. So both chips are nice and shiny. You can see the reflection in them. And uh, so now I'm going to take my Dynex um, thermal compound and I'll apply a little bit to this one and um, these two here and then it comes with I got mine at Best Buy because the Radio Shack was all out so it comes with a little spatula to you know spread it around and uh, you know you don't need a ton just a little little bit on each one and then uh, I've got my screws here that I bought and um, they're basically, I'm trying to remember what size they were, um, I don't know, I'll have to put them on the notes on the YouTube video, but, um, rubber washers, and I've got eight screws total, um, because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they're for both heat sinks, and so preloaded a rubber washer on each one of them, and, um, I'm going to put them on the other side of the motherboard and poke them through and and then once they get on I will load them again on the top with another washer a rubber washer So it's 16 rubber washers total and I went to ace hardware and got these and it was like seven something for all the washers and the screws and um, Best Buy had the um, Thermal compound which is cheaper than actually what um Radio Shack told me they had it for it was like 10.99 at Radio Shack and and um, they had a different one it was like Arctic something but um, Arctic Silver I think is what Radio Shack had and this stuff is just as good I mean it's the same thing that all does the same thing um, Best Buy had it for 9.99 so it was a buck cheaper at Best Buy and so once I apply all that I will put the heat sinks back on and. Put everything back together and um, I guess apparently without hooking the fan up at the very end I'll leave that unhooked and I'll have to plug it in and I should get uh, three lights automatically and then down to two and then let it cool down after that and come back and I should be able to plug the fan up and have everything working again. Okay so I've got the uh, screws in as you can see here there's a screw you know all four of them are in and I have applied the thermal paste and this paste is uh, is white unlike other pastes that are silver um, but this should work nonetheless it is the same exact thing it's a thermal compound so it doesn't matter whether it's silver or white um, from what I hear when I was out looking for supplies that people were going to Best Buy to get them so to get the thermal compound so um, now all that's left is to apply the heat sinks to the screws here and uh, put everything back in the housing all the parts back and then the power power button there and screw that back on so um, I will come back to you when I have everything put back together and uh, the Xbox plugged in and we'll see how the lights uh, work from there because that's the true test <laughs> Um, sorry I haven't shown you how to take apart the box, Xbox or anything like that. Um, there are so many videos out there on how to take apart the Xbox that I am not currently worrying about that at this time. It is pretty easy to take it apart. Um, it, it's not rocket science. Anybody could do it. Uh, you just know how to take off the housing. Then once you get in to the Xbox, it's pretty self-explanatory. So... Um, I don't really have any, I have no training in anything. I just love taking things apart. So it was easy for me. Anyway, uh, I will get back to you when I have the Xbox plugged up to the TV. And uh, uh, from what I understand, I'm going to have to let it go from three rings down to two and then turn it off and let it cool and plug back in the cooler. And then once I once that's done, everything should work. So I will see you there. Okay, quickly, uh, before I put everything else back together, I just want to show you, I've got the two heat sinks uh, screwed back in and uh, you can see on the other side I have the four screws with the washers and and then if you see here you can kind of see underneath uh, there's a gap now 
that the washers are creating um, the, the rubber washers on the top kind of create a gap and allow for uh, will allow for some you know bend and move um, when when things get hot will allow it to kind of flex and move when it needs to so that's the beauty of the rubber washers um, I've heard you know online that um, using metal ones isn't although you can it's probably not the best method and the rubber ones make sense to me uh, with the give and take that it will need when it is heating up so um, with that now they're back together I'm going to put everything back in the box and put it all together and we'll get back to you when I plug it in all right okay so I've plugged the Xbox back up and uh, before I started the video I actually forgot to grab my camcorder here and record this um, when I plugged everything back up but I've got the power cable hooked in and I've got the HDMI cable in the back and I actually plugged in the fan. Now a guy online showed a video on YouTube stating that once he applied everything he had to um, leave the fan unplugged and then he, he t plugged it in the power, turned the Xbox on and he got three rings and then it went down to two then you had to wait after that and let it cool down for the new uh, you know uh, compound the new thermal compound to kick in and fuse with the heat sinks and I'm like that's a bunch of BS um, I, I th that stuff is in a liquid format so to speak it's a it's a thick consistency so that shouldn't be a problem you shouldn't need to do that well in my case I'll show you I'll power this baby on and I'm going to get all three green rings once this thing continues. One, two, three, four. And now you can see on my TV that I have the Xbox 360 working. So obviously no profiles. I don't have my hard drive hooked up. But um, as you can see, everything is working as it should. And I don't have three rings of death, which I had about an hour or so ago so kudos to me uh, easy fix and uh, I shouldn't have this problem again if I do then all I have to do is take it apart and add more of that uh, compound that thermal compound and I'll be back in business alright hope this helps and uh, good luck to all of you who have the three ring of death if you have four obviously it's a hardware issue and it's toast but if you have three then it's just an overheating issue and all you need to do is spend about 20 bucks or so and you got yourself uh, working Xbox 360. Alright, best of luck to everybody. Bye.